Imagine something so dense that a single teaspoon of it would weigh a billion tons. Not a planet, not a black hole, but something in between. A cosmic zombie, the crushed heart of a dead star. This is a neutron star. It doesn't just bend the rules of physics, it body slams them. We're talking gravity that crushes atoms, magnetic fields strong enough to erase your credit card from a million miles away, and matter so dense that it's basically nuclear pasta. Yeah, that's real. Strap in. Because today, we're diving into the wildest stellar objects that actually exist. So what exactly is a neutron star? It all starts with a massive star, one much larger than our sun. After millions of years of fusion, the star runs out of fuel. No more energy to counteract gravity. The core collapses in a violent explosion called a supernova, one of the most powerful events in the universe. Now here's the crazy part. If the star isn't quite massive enough to form a black hole, the collapse stops, just barely, and the remaining core becomes a neutron star. We're talking a ball of pure neutrons, squeezed tighter than you can imagine. It's only about 20 kilometers wide, roughly the size of a city, but it contains more mass than the entire sun. To put that into perspective, a sugar cube-sized amount of neutron star matter would weigh about a trillion kilograms on Earth. One teaspoon, around four billion tons. That's Mount Everest in a spoon. At this scale, the density breaks our intuition. Atoms are crushed so tightly that electrons and protons merge into neutrons, forming one gigantic atomic nucleus. Essentially, it's a star made of nuclear matter. The gravity of a neutron star is insane. On the surface, gravity is about 2 times 10 superscript 1 superscript 1 times stronger than Earth's. That's 200 billion times your body weight. You wouldn't just be crushed, you'd be obliterated. Even light gets slightly bent near the surface, like around black holes, though not enough to form an event horizon. If you fell from just one meter above the surface, you'd hit it at four million miles per hour, instantly turning into a puddle of plasma. But the star doesn't collapse into a black hole because neutron degeneracy pressure, a quantum force, pushes back. It's the same thing that prevents white dwarfs from collapsing, just taken to the extreme. Neutron stars don't just break physics with gravity, they're also magnetic monsters. Some neutron stars, called magnetars, have magnetic fields a quadrillion times stronger than Earth's. Yes, quadrillion. That's a one followed by 15 zeros. These fields are so powerful, they can distort atoms into spaghetti-shaped strings. If a magnetar passed within 1,000 kilometers of Earth, it could wipe every credit card and hard drive clean and possibly mess with the molecular structure of your body. Sometimes these fields twist and snap like overstressed rubber bands, releasing starquakes, sudden bursts of X-rays and gamma rays. One magnetar 50,000 light years away once released a flare so powerful it briefly ionized Earth's upper atmosphere. That's right, something that happened halfway across the galaxy still touched us. Many neutron stars are also known as pulsars, short for pulsating radio stars. Here's how they work. As the star collapses, its rotation speeds up. A dying star might rotate once every 10 days, but a neutron star? It can spin hundreds of times per second. The record holder spins over 700 times per second. That's like compressing Earth into a ball the size of Manhattan and spinning it faster than a kitchen blender. These spinning neutron stars shoot out beams of electromagnetic radiation from their magnetic poles. If those beams sweep past Earth, we detect them as ultra-precise pulses, ticking like a cosmic metronome. Some pulsars are so regular, they rival atomic clocks. We've even considered using pulsars for interstellar GPS because their timing is that reliable. Now let's talk about the weird stuff inside. Scientists believe that the outer crust of a neutron star contains something called nuclear pasta. Why the name? Because under extreme pressure, matter forms bizarre shapes, long tubes, spaghetti, flat sheets, lasagna, even gnarly knots, gnocchi. This isn't actual food. It's the strongest known material in the universe, billions of times stronger than steel. You need 10 billion times more force to snap a strand of nuclear pasta than to break steel. Deeper inside, things get even stranger. There may be superfluids, frictionless neutron matter that flows forever. Or quark matter, where neutrons break down into their subatomic components, creating a kind of quark soup. Some theories even suggest the core could contain strange matter, a hypothetical state that, if touched by normal matter, 
like inverted on contact. Yeah, like a universe-ending domino chain. But don't worry, we're probably safe. Probably. Here's where things get cinematic. Sometimes, two neutron stars orbit each other, slowly spiraling inward over millions of years. When they finally collide, the explosion is beyond epic. This is called a kilonova, a blast 1,000 times brighter than a supernova. It creates gravitational waves that ripple across the cosmos. Waves we've actually detected here on Earth. But the real kicker. These mergers forge heavy elements, like gold, platinum, uranium. The gold in your jewelry? It was likely born in a neutron star collision billions of years ago. The death of stars creates the elements of life and luxury. That's poetic and very real. Neutron stars aren't just astronomical trivia. They're natural laboratories for physics we can't reproduce on Earth. They let us study gravity, quantum mechanics, nuclear forces, all in one object. They're testing grounds for extreme matter, time dilation, and the limits of what space and time can handle. Every time we observe a neutron star, with radio telescopes, X-ray observatories, or gravitational wave detectors, we're not just looking at a star. We're staring at the edge of known physics. But here's the real kicker. For all we know about neutron stars, we've still barely scratched the surface. Think about this, we can't build neutron stars in a lab. We can't get close to one. We can't slice it open. Everything we know comes from tiny flickers of light, distant radio pulses, and the occasional cosmic collision. And yet, neutron stars are teaching us more about the universe than many objects we can touch. They're helping us test Einstein's general relativity under conditions he never imagined. They're helping us explore how matter behaves when crammed to densities that exist nowhere else. They're even helping us understand how the universe creates the elements that make life possible. And get this, in 2017, when we detected gravitational waves from a neutron star merger, we saw it, heard it, and measured it all at once. For the first time in history, humans observe a cosmic event with light and gravity, like opening a second sense in the universe. Neutron stars are also a key to solving the neutron star equation of state, one of the biggest unsolved problems in modern physics. Basically, we still don't fully understand how matter behaves inside them. Different equations give different radii, different masses, and different structures, and we're slowly narrowing it down with every observation. And some researchers believe that studying neutron stars might even unlock the secrets of quantum gravity, the holy grail of physics. A theory that unites the world of the very big, gravity and space-time, with the world of the very small, quantum particles and fields. Because at the heart of a neutron star is a battleground between those two realms. And where those laws clash, new truths are waiting. So next time you hear the phrase neutron star, don't just think of it as a dead remnant. Think of it as a cosmic paradox, where death creates light, collapse creates structure, and silence pulses louder than anything we can imagine. They're terrifying. They're fascinating. And above all, they are real. Somewhere out there, right now, a neutron star is spinning, pulsing, crushing, glowing. It doesn't know you're watching. But in its silence, it's teaching us everything. And that is what makes it beautiful.